What we've seen, and uh, basing this on our most recent industry survey, that's the SAFCA KPMG Industry Survey for Private Equity for 2014, that shows massive growth in funds under management uh, owing to successful fundraising by our member firms. So the industry is now standing at about 162 billion rands in assets under management. And the, the, the further theme emanating from that is uh, expected increased uh, deal flow activity. So as those funds are deployed, we see our fund managers. And we've really seen the beginning of that. Some major deals announced and there are many more behind the scenes. So the smaller and mid-sized deals not necessarily uh, okay. coming to the media. Okay. And then a, a further theme that we, we're likely to see is exit. So many of the uh, private equity funds are fairly mature. So very close to their 10-year lifetime. And so we're seeing these funds readying for exit, so selling um, their portfolio companies, and that's through the typical routes of listing. So if the bigger firms having that as an option, and then the smaller firms um, going for a trade buyer or another financial buyer, so to a, a, another private equity fund manager. So private equity is an institutional asset class. It's, it's categorized as an alternative asset class. So Regulation 28, which governs how pension funds can uh, do their investments, that allows pension funds to allocate up to 10% of their, their portfolio, their assets under management to private equity. And the role that private equity can play is, is a diversifying role. So for in a large part, uh, portfolio, having this component that behaves slightly differently, it is still equity, but, still, but behaving slightly differently from listed equity. It also has a function of boosting returns. It also has the function of boosting returns. Um, so we see that uh, certainly the survey, the, the data we have access to, we've got a quarterly performance survey done by Riscura, the SAFCA Riscura quarterly performance survey showing that private equity over a 10-year horizon outperforms uh, listed equities by about 200 basis points. So it's a fairly consistent outperformance, so a returns booster. It also plays an important role where you've got the asset liability matching, so pension funds with long-term uh, liabilities, so it makes sense to match that against long-term assets. And increasingly we're seeing a recognition of the importance of that in pension funds. And, and the last point I'd like to raise, the, the, the role that private equity plays, is that it enables institutional investors to meet their targets in terms of black economic empowerment and the ESG, the environment, social and governance elements.